How's it going guys? So uh, today's quick little review is uh, gonna be about the Baja Beast. Uh, picked it up at Walmart for $39.99. Uh, I guess it's on clearance or something. Which is really, really amazing. Uh, you guys really gotta get on this. Uh, go check your, your local uh, Walmart. Um, preferably the ghetto one because these would have already sold in your more um, upper scale, upper class, whatever you want to call it, uh, Walmart. So uh, I found about three of these at Wal uh, my Walmart. So uh, yeah, this is a really awesome uh, hobby grade uh, toy uh, hybrid. Um, it's, a, it's a mixture of the two. Uh, as you can see, it's got um, it's got independent suspension. which can be a little stiff, but it's pretty decent. Um, um, So yeah, um, takes a 7.2 rechargeable, uh, N-I-M-H, it's got A, B, and C, um, three different kind of, it's got tri-band, uh, this material is very flexible, uh, lightweight material, 27 megahertz, but with the ABC it lets you uh, choose which frequency you, you want to be in. Uh, this pops right off with the snap of a couple of four clips and which reveals all the engine and whatnot. I mean, I'll make another video about that. And then, uh, yeah, over here we got deep dish and outer dish rims. I picked the orange ones because they're pretty fancy. And over here we have your controller uh, and the transmitter. Now, what's interesting is that on this one, um, the trim on this knob is missing. I've seen others with the trim. Uh, this knob is fake. Um, I've seen some with actual working um, working knobs, unless they, maybe they were just a, a different revision or, or something of that nature. But yeah, controller is about the same size as the car is, is itself, which is pretty. It's pro style pistol grip. So this should be an interesting video uh, since I'm going to try my best to record this. With one hand, um, but yeah, uh, overall I did a little bit of test driving already to get the feel of it, and it's very uh, aggressive. It does not care about where you put it. It will drive over most anything, little snow patches, goes right through. Uh, when you get into the bigger stuff, it, it says absolutely not, get stuck in there. So uh, it's very fast. Um, you can press the throttle lightly, and you will get this as a result. And then you could squeeze it hotter and hotter. It's gonna kind of go easy because of I got one hand available. So gonna be able to turn it. As soon as that tire gets lifted off of the ground, it becomes pretty much, you know, dead. Once you give it some traction, though, it picks right back up. It's not it's not waterproof, so it's kind of dangerous. Uh, the environment I'm giving it right now, but it seems to be handling it pretty well. I do not recommend. Uh, it's it, it's one of my favorite RCs so far, so I'm not trying to ruin it. So it's very hard to uh, want to drive it like a madman, but at the same time be gentle with it like a... But I'll give you guys an uh, example of the speed as best I can.
This is the first original charge um, right out of the, the box. They um, they recommend eight hours, so I left it on the charger for eight hours. Played with it for about maybe five minutes now. So this should be about full speed. Give you something like this and pull the trigger full on 100%. So this is for speed test from uh, this is the trigger all the way back immediately. Like I said, as soon as that tire gets lifted, you ain't going nowhere. It is fast enough that you can uh, pull back the trigger and it will do a little 360 spin around very quickly. Which I can't do, because I need to have two hands. This is very, very tricky to do. There we go, I did it. So yeah, pretty much, uh, you know, what I wanted to show you guys, uh, TPX reviews for Baja Beast, I gotta say, quick little, it's quick, it's durable, um, it's fast, uh, the suspension is incredible, uh, really cheap, $39.99, it's less than a G-Buggy, do not buy a G-Buggy, my absolute recommendation, buy this instead, you'll have way more fun with it, and um, it's aggressive, and it feels like a real RC that they used to make back in the old days. Uh, what used to be considered Tyco is basically what this has become, which is uh, a more expensive hobby grade. Uh, Tyco, believe it or not, is definitely fast. Uh, my speed wrench will probably keep up with this thing, no problem. Uh, they don't make cars like they used to, but yet they com they co they claim that these are these new RCs are fast, uh, when really they're just putting in the old-fashioned engines and or an engine qu equivalent to the older uh, RCs. So. Yeah, definitely not uh, as hobby grade as you think, but it does have suspension, and it is a toy grade hobby version. Uh, it's a hybrid between the two. It's not a perfect hob hobby uh, grade, but it is uh, definitely um, a very, very good uh, in between. I want to say it's maybe between Tyco and and, uh, and professional. So, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my review. Any, if you guys want a better example of uh, the performance, 
Uh, maybe I'll make another video for you guys. Let me know. Peace.